Welcome to Fun Facts Lord. This is episode 7th out of 8400 from the Amphibian Group. Today, we explore fascinating facts about the Cuban tree frog. From its impressive climbing abilities to its adaptable nature, join us as we uncover mind blowing information about this remarkable amphibian. At Fun Facts Lord, we're dedicated to sharing the wonders of nature. Dive into our videos featuring captivating animations and educational insights designed to make learning both entertaining and enriching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe now and continue on this journey of exploration and discovery with us. Let's discover more about the Cuban tree frog together. Remember to hit the bell icon so you never miss our latest videos. Welcome back to the Fun Facts Lord community. Fun facts about the Cuban tree frog. What is the Cuban tree frog's size and appearance? The Cuban tree frog is the largest tree frog in North America, with adults typically reaching lengths of 3 to 5.5 inches, 7.6 to 14 centimeters. They have a variable color palette that can include shades of green, gray, brown, or even white, often with darker blotches or spots. This coloration can change depending on their environment and mood, providing excellent camouflage. Their skin is rough and bumpy, especially on the back, and they have large, sticky toe pads that help them climb and adhere to various surfaces. Their eyes are large and golden, providing excellent night vision for their nocturnal lifestyle. What is unique about the Cuban tree frog's diet? Cuban tree frogs have a voracious and opportunistic appetite. They feed on a wide variety of insects and other invertebrates, such as spiders, beetles, and cockroaches. Remarkably, they also consume smaller frogs, including other tree frogs, as well as small lizards and even small birds. Their diet contributes to their role as both predators and competitors in their ecosystems. In their introduced ranges, such as in Florida, their broad diet can negatively impact local wildlife populations by preying on native species and competing with them for food showcasing their adaptability and the ecological challenges they present. How does the Cuban tree frog reproduce? Reproduction in Cuban tree frogs typically occurs during the rainy season, when males call to attract females with a distinctive, loud, and raspy mating call. Males call from vegetation near water bodies like ponds, ditches, and canals. Once a female responds, the male clasps her in amplexus, and she lays her eggs in water. The eggs are laid in floating clusters, and a single female can lay thousands of eggs in one breeding season. These eggs hatch into tadpoles within a few days, and the tadpoles undergo metamorphosis over several weeks, developing legs and absorbing their tails before emerging as juvenile frogs. What is the Cuban tree frog's habitat? Cuban tree frogs are native to Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and the Bahamas, but they have been introduced to other regions, including Florida, where they thrive in a variety of habitats. They prefer moist, tropical environments and are commonly found in forests, swamps, wetlands, and urban areas. They are highly adaptable and can live in human-altered environments such as gardens, greenhouses, and even inside homes. Their ability to exploit various habitats, including those impacted by human activity, has contributed to their success as an invasive species in some areas. What are the Cuban tree frog's defense mechanisms? Cuban tree frogs have several defense mechanisms to protect themselves from predators. One primary defense is their ability to secrete a sticky, noxious substance from their skin, which can irritate predators and deter them from attacking. This secretion can also cause mild skin irritation in humans if handled without care. Additionally, their coloration provides effective camouflage, helping them blend into their surroundings and avoid detection. When threatened, they can leap away quickly using their powerful hind legs. Their nocturnal habits also help them avoid many daytime predators, enhancing their survival chances. What is the lifespan of the Cuban tree frog? In the wild, Cuban tree frogs typically live for five to 10 years, although some individuals may live longer under favorable conditions. In captivity, with proper care and a suitable environment, they can live up to 15 years or more. Their lifespan is influenced by factors such as predation, disease, habitat quality, and environmental conditions. Providing a stable and enriched environment with ample food, 
clean water and protection from predators is essential for their longevity. Their relatively long lifespan and adaptability contribute to their success in various habitats, both native and introduced. Thank you for watching episode 7 of Fun Facts Lord from the Amphibian Group. We hope you found the facts about the Cuban tree frog intriguing. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay tuned for episode 8 as we uncover more amazing creatures. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest discoveries. See you next time on Fun Facts Lord.